Hello, dear ones, enlightened ones, inspired ones. My enchanted brothers and sisters, I love that. How are you? I hope you're doing well on this Virgo full moon evening and are excited that spring's coming because we're getting some nasty weather tomorrow. So I hope you're excited. So this is a general reading. We're going to see what the angels and the archangels have to say for us. This is a full moon, Virgo full moon reading under this powerful full moon. And we'll see what they what messages they have. Of course, I've already called upon God, the Ascendant Masters, the angels and archangels to be with me. And if you would kindly send me your angels to help with this reading, I would certainly appreciate it. With this reading, I have to shuffle it out and see what they say because pick up the energies from you all. So I'm um, shuffling to Archangel Michael her cards. We'll see what message Archangel Michael has for us. So go ahead and send me your angel. Okay, this one. This one might go in the deck. This is really good. Archangel Michael tells us to go forward fearlessly. Today. Yes, Laura, it's been a very uh, beautiful day today. It was very sunny. Um, so, but I don't know where everyone's from, uh, but if you're in my area here um, in the Philadelphia area, uh, we're getting some, some weather tomorrow morning, some bad weather. The moon is the biggest moon I've ever seen. Yeah, powerful full moons. This, this. Well, all the full moons are powerful. Uh, but we want to connect to, to the full moon energies um, in a positive way. and Because it's a time to really, uh, you know, reflect in us and really send, really be very mindful of the energies we're putting out. Because at this time, it's just, it's, it magnifies even stronger. So you want to make sure you pay attention to the, what you're thinking, saying, and doing out to the universe because it, it's a big magnet. It's, and of course, anything that you put out during the new moon, you know, you want to stay positive. Any of your intentions that you put out during the new moon that are going to uh, start to manifest during this full moon time. Oh, you're in Canada. Okay. <laughs> Ontario. Very nice. I don't know how the weather's there, uh, but I hope you're, you, if you're all in a, a cold climate right now. I hope you're all toasty, warm, and, and showing gratitude for having a warmth and, and a home and, and food and, and being comfortable uh, during this time. Of course, being grateful for everything. Thanks for the love, Christina. So anyway, the first card, go forward fearlessly. And this is perfect during, during, the, full, during the full moon with Archangel Michael. And the card reads, it says, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. So you have angels. I call an Archangel Michael for everything, <laughs> for everything. And then I add the other Archangels on, depending on, on what I'm asking for. But Archangel Michael always, he's there, you know, he's there to help you uh, to be courageous, to be strong. Uh, you know, he is, um, when we see him, pictures of him, he's always carrying a, a sword and a shield. Yeah, he's our protector. Uh, and he's also the patron saint, I think, for police officers and soldiers and, and things like uh, for people who deal with courageous situations. But to me, every day you get up and face the world, you're being courageous. So, Carrie, there's no, there's no, no one is not more courageous than somebody else. Uh, you know, it's, courage is courage. Not so, not someone is more fearless than somebody else. If if it's something you fear to move forward, that fear is real. Uh, courage is real. And there's no there's no level of who's more than somebody else. Uh, a child going to kindergarten for the first time, leaving mom, is is takes a lot. Sometimes it takes more from mom and dad to have the courage to let their child go. So you know, it's. All these emotions and energies and blessings and wonderful things, there's no, we're, we're all meant to call upon to being, have courage, to be courageous, or to be fearless at any given time. Some people are firemen who 
called. That's that's their duty. That's their job. What, what they what they've been the talents or that they chose to be. So yes, so they are fearless. They do move forward into into them and into uh, their jobs and you know to to burning homes and police officers and soldiers and all. Uh, yeah, that's their calling. That's their job. Your calling may be to be a mom or a dad or you know to to, to uh, go to school. Uh, you know, every day you're facing, you're being challenged that, to deal with um, having the courage to go ahead and move forward. Uh, whether you're a teacher or a nurse or uh, a, a mom, a wife, uh, whatever your job is, it does take moments and times of being courageous and standing up for what you need to do. So again, know that there's no level, not one is more courageous than somebody else. And we do that, you know, um, uh, to each other because we think that if you think, oh, I, I can never do that job. <laughs> so that they're, they're very courageous because you're comparing it with you. But I'm sure if you talk to a police officer or a fireman, they probably couldn't do your job. You know, they think that you're courageous in what you go ahead and do. So it all balances itself out. So go ahead and send me your angels. I'm shuffling the angel tarot cards. And this is the message from the angels that we'll, we'll hear and see. Angels, please come to us. What messages do you have? We have at least three cards. There's two. Please give us one more card. Okay. Uh, the first card that came up was the Nine of Air. And remember, this is under the full moon energies. And these are the energies that are around us. It could be pertaining to you directly. If you're watching this this and are drawn to watch this reading tonight, there's a message here for you, okay? So it may not be pertaining exactly to you. These are the energies around you. So it could be other people. It could be you. It's, this might be something that's that's already happened. This could be something that is happening now or something that's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful Deanna. Thank you for your angels. I'm glad they're loud. This must be the full moon. But they can be loud every day. Some days we're too busy, busy we don't really hear them. Uh, and other days, uh, you know, we, we can probably hear them uh, a lot easier. <laughs> so the, the Nine of Errors, Nine of Error card came up. And it's it tells us expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. <laughs> I like the part where it says self-fulfilling prophecies. <laughs> uh, stop expecting the worst. The worst isn't going to happen. You make it seem like the worst because that's what you expect. And it causes sleepless nights. It causes uh, affects our health and things like that. These are self-fulfilling prophecies. It's not the worst. Anything that we think is a terrible thing that's happened to us is actually God or the universe stepping in, telling us, no, this is not what you're supposed to be doing. So they're shaking our lives up and they're trying to put us in the direction that we need to be going. Okay. We're not, we're either we ignored something or, uh, or didn't take care of something or it's a bad relationship or a bad situation, bad job. He comes in and he shakes things up. Okay. Forcing you. To, to take, to get back on your path and your journey that you need. And it's, we have the moon card that came up, of course, during this full moon here, the moon card here. See that? And, oh, Deanna, the, surrender, what's bothering you? Hello, beautiful uh, uh, Dottie, thank you. Yeah, Tilly started a fire when I got home tonight, and I said, you know what, I'm going to do this in front of the fire tonight. But anyway, so the, the moon card says important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. So we have expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights, and at the same time, the universe, the angels, our angels are telling us there are important psychic insights here. Events are happening behind the scenes. You don't know. Your prayers are being answered. Release fears that hold you back. Release expecting the worst. Stop expecting the worst. The worst isn't going to happen. Stop it. Start expecting the best. Wait patiently for this. It's coming. Things 
whatever you pray for, whatever that you want to happen, and you put it out there, your intentions out there, or is in the making. It's in the works. You know, God heard your prayers. The angels heard your prayers. They're going to work for you. But so you have to be, uh, wait for it. And, you know, don't expect the things that things are going to get worse. Always attach your energies, your thoughts to where you want to be or what you want, not what you don't want. Stop putting your energies and attaching to what you don't want. Attach yourself to what you do want. Because when you do that, <laughs> the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, with, with this card, when you do that, content and rewarding family. Everything's met. Your material and, uh, and emotional needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. It could be parties. There could be weddings. There could be engagements. Wonderful things are happening. So stop. <laughs> Stop with uh, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies. Get away from that. Tap into uh, your psychic and know. Tap into your power. Tap into your source of love and power, which is inside of you, which is God, which is the universe, that are making things are happen. Things are happening behind the scenes in heaven. God is busy in heaven making things happen for you. Because the ten of water, the celebration, everything's going to come through for you. Just have faith. Stay connected to that. Let go of the fears. Go forward fearlessly, like Archangel Michael said. Let go of fears or expecting the worst or thinking terrible things are going to happen. And what if this happens? And it's, they're self-fulfilling prophecies. They're not real. Okay? So uh, go ahead and tap into your psychic. Let things go. Uh, release. We have the moon card. It's very strong for tonight. Telling you to release the fears. Release whatever's happening. Tap into your wisdom and your knowledge, which is love. <laughs> Unconditional love that's inside of you, that energy. When, when you are worried or you have fear or you have doubt and you can't sleep, you had totally disconnected from your source of power. You disconnected from your source of love. And the only thing that's real is love. It's the only thing that gives you strength. It's the only thing that gives you power. So whether you believe in God or the universe or spirit or angels, whatever you believe in, once you disconnect from that divine power by thinking terrible things, you disconnect. So now you're in a place of, of sadness or worry or fear, but you got to let that go and reconnect knowing that you are a child of God that you are deserving of wonderful things, that yes, your prayers have been answered. Yes, wonderful things are coming to you. And yes, you're going to wait patiently at the perfect divine timing. It always happens at the perfect time. There might be something that, you know, we're constantly given opportunities to make our life better. And so, so God or the universe might be giving you the opportunity to have patience. So they're saying, you know what, Cindy, we're going we're gonna to give you the opportunity to enhance your law of attraction, to enhance your karma by, by allowing you to tap into your gift of patience. So I got this opportunity to be patient. I got this opportunity to wait excitingly and joyfully. Am I going to miss that opportunity by being worried and upset? <laughs> No, I'm not going to miss that opportunity to enhance my law of attraction, to enhance my karma. I'm going to be excitingly, patiently uh, waiting for, for things to happen. I, I put my prayers out there. I put my intentions out there. I know it's going to happen. I know what's there because I am creating it. I am in one with the universe. I am one with God. I co-create with him so I know it's going to happen. I don't even worry about it. I pray one time. I ask one time and I don't worry about it. It's going to come. It's going to happen. I know it's there. So when you have absolute positively knowing wisdom and having faith and knowing that things are going to happen exactly the way you want, and it's powerful now under the full moon, then, then, then you don't worry. You don't have sleep this night. So you can still go to sleep. Ask Tilly. I sleep like a baby every night. I, I have no problem sleeping. None whatsoever. Uh, I, no problems. I have it. Every single night I sleep like a baby. And so, because I don't worry about anything, it's not going to happen. 
uh, no, nothing bad is going to happen to me. And anything that, that is a challenge to me, is there's, there's a blessing in it. So I'm excited. Okay, there's a blessing in here. I'm going to take care of it. And I know, I'm going to know what to do. I'm going to, I'm going to connect to my angels. I'm going to connect to my wisdom. I'm going to connect to my faith. And I know and I'm going to go ahead and move forward. And it always works out. <laughs> I, I focus on the outcome that I want, not the outcome I don't want. So if I find myself not doing the right thing to get the outcome that I want, then I stop what I'm doing. I stop what I'm doing, and I take a deep breath, a couple deep breaths, and I reconnect to my source, my source of God, my source of power, my source of love. And then I go ahead and move forward. Okay, And that's what we all need to do. So right now, I'm shuffling the Archangel cards, power cards, and the tower cards. Um, so if you haven't sent me your angels, go ahead and do that. I'm going to shuffle them. Let's hear what the Archangels have to say for us. I know, you, um, you know, we're all conditioned to think a certain way and act a certain way. But I think, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, I had post... Um, Whatever you practice, you get really good at. <laughs> so if you practice being angry, you're going to get really good at being angry. If you practice it, complaining and finding fault, you're going to get really good at it. If you practice forgiveness, if you practice being loving, if you practice patience, if you practice kindness, you get really good at it. <laughs> then it comes really, really easy. you got to practice it. you got to train yourself to think that way, to act that way, to be that way. Because we're all conditioned from the time we're little to think a certain way, act a certain way, whether it's, it's through our parents or school or friends, uh, whatever it is. And we allow other people to tell us how we should be and what things should be. So you, you practice, whatever you practice, you get really good at. So start practicing letting things go. Start practicing your faith. Start practicing not worrying when you go to bed at night. Start practicing and knowing that, that things are always going to work out and that you are connected to your, your intuition. You're connected to your source. You're connected to your, to your power. So you know things are going to work out. If you constantly, you know, if you constantly say, oh, I am sick uh, or uh, I am this, I am that, I have this, I have that, you are practicing being sick. So if you, if you say, like, part of my intentions every day, I am healthy. I say that all the time. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. I say this every day. I am loving. I am kind. I am a money magnet. Money comes to me easily. Loving, caring people only come into my life. People that want to help me, that, that, that care about me, come into my life. These are the tensions that I say every day. I always say thank you. Thank thank you for Tilly. Thank you for my home. Thank you for my car. Uh, thank you for, for my jobs. Thank you for my gifts. Thank and always show gratitude as well every day. And I do this when I get my car, <laughs> you know, and, and, and this, this showing this. And, and people who, who know me, you know, know me on a more personal level can, can tell you that I have a really good, nice, happy, joyful life. You know, and I create that because I'm connected to my source of love, my source of power, and and who are who I am. And and the first card that came up with the Archangel cards is the Magician card. Yeah, you are magic. You are the magician of your life. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Yes, you create the life that you want. Do not focus and stay connected to what you don't want. Stay connected and focus to what you do want. You are a magic. Uh, you are magic. You are magical. You are the magician. Everything you want is already present. Everything you need to move forward has already been given to you. You just have to connect to it. You have to know it's there, expect it to show up, <laughs> and it's going to be there. We have everything we want is always right in front of us. And and like like I. Most people know I say, we're too busy looking out in the distance for it and waiting for it to come when it's already present. We just have to connect to it and allow it to show up. Uh, the Sixth of Raphael is next with the Archangel cards. And it's telling you to embrace your inner child. 
new friends or a rekindled relationship, children or child. Yes, yeah, something from, from your past is going to show up. And uh, maybe it's, um, uh, and then we're talking about childhood. So it's, uh, maybe it, it could be remembering certain things from your childhood. Today's my mother's birthday. She would have been 81 years old. So yeah, I was thinking a lot today about her and, and my childhood with her and, and wonderful things. Uh, this also could, could be telling you it's time to be childlike. Be magical. Child, children see things as magical, magic. You know, they believe in magic and it happens for them. So to tap into, embrace that inner child for you, be magical. Think of unicorns and magic and wonderful things that, that are happening or coming to your life. Rekindle that and connect back to that. Stop being it's like a serious grown-up. Uh, let, let your hair down. Be playful and, and enjoy yourself very, very much. We have the page of Ariel that, that follows us. Thanks for the love. Uh, Pamela and Marlene, I love you too, Pamela. Thank you. <laughs> and so we have the page of Ariel here. And it says, an excellent opportunity will be offered to you. There could be uh, scholarships or the pursuit of an education, time to get to work. So there's opportunities that are going to come to you. If you want things to happen, and I was just talking about, uh, about the, uh, the universe guide, gives us opportunities all the time. The opportunity to be patient, the opportunity to be kind, the opportunity to give, the opportunity to love yourself and, and or love somebody else, the opportunity of not passing judgment, the opportunity of not finding fault. They're going to send you people that are going to drive you crazy and you're going to complain and find fault with you. That's not the opportunity to find fault. That's the opportunity to accept people for who they are. It's the opportunity of not finding fault. It's the opportunity of accepting. It's the opportunity of knowing. It's the opportunity of wisdom. So this is where you have to go with. Stop calling people idiots. Stop calling a, a person. They'll know what they're doing. They should be doing something. Who are you or anybody, if someone's doing that to you, anybody to tell what somebody else should be doing? It's none of your business or it's none of their business. Stop calling them idiots. They're not idiots. You're the idiot because you're, you're creating a bad law of attraction and bad karma. So who's the idiot? You are. Why saying that? Calling somebody stupid. Well, you, they're not stupid. You are by saying that. You are putting the cobblage on wonderful things happening in your life. Stop doing it. And just let people do what they want. Don't connect to what they're doing. You don't have to agree with what they're doing, but you don't find fault with it. This is who they are. Why are you finding fault with God's perfection? God made this person the way they are because they have a purpose in this life. And who are you or, or anybody else to find fault with you or you find fault with anybody else with what they're supposed to be, who they're supposed to be, and what they're supposed to do. It's not your business. Stop judging. Stop finding fault. Stop complaining. Because you're doing it to yourself. You're the one who's stupid. You're the one who's the idiot not them. So really pay attention to what you're thinking, what you're saying, what you're doing, what you're connecting to. Stop expecting the worst. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Stop doing that because it's not happening. It's, it's not there, but you're connecting to it. So you're going to make it and you're going to believe it's true. Stop doing it. It's not real. You are the magician. Connect to your inner child. See joy and happiness in everything that's happening. Create magic in your life because these are the opportunities that you need that's going to come to you to do this. So are you going to take these opportunities to enhance your life, to make things happen, to, to create the law of attraction, the karma that you want? You're given the opportunity not to judge, not to find fault with yourself or with anybody else because everything is perfect exactly the way they are. See the perfection, see the blessing in everything because there is a blessing. It's there to help you, it's, here, it's there to, to put you back on course if you got off on course. Because as long as you think about, really think about your karma and your law of attraction, what you are creating, what you think, say and do out to the universe is coming back to you. If you call someone stupid or an idiot, guess what's coming back to you? 
see them as beautiful group, beautiful creations of, of God, of the universe. They have a purpose. Let them do their purpose. You don't have to connect to them. You don't have to agree with them because that's not who you're, you are. Okay, so find a blessing in all situations, everybody. And, and for Pete's sake, if you had a terrible relationship, terrible, terrible marriage, thank your ex-spouse. Thank them. Stop finding fault with them or stop wishing bad things to happen to them. Don't call them a terrible person. They're not a terrible person. They only did what they're supposed to do. This is who they are. Stop the, I, you know, I hear this all the time. Uh, nobody broke your heart. Nobody did anything to you. This is who they are. This is the person you had agreed upon when you were incarnated in this lifetime to be married to. You may have been with this person in order to create life. To, to co-create children to be in this life, and if your and if your children leave you or have any, nothing thing to do with you, that's okay. You did your job. Don't focus on how they're supposed to treat you. You pay attention to your your job as a parent. You did what you had to do. If they're not if they're not grateful for that or they don't show you respect, that's on them. Stop finding fault. If you find fault with a child that, that's been disrespectful or, or, or hasn't done uh, what, you, what you think they should be doing, again, you are the one that's creating the bad karma and the bad law of attraction. You are not seeing them as a blessing of who they are. Stop doing that. They don't, they don't owe you anything. They are creating their own law of attraction and karma and do not, dis, and do not connect to that. You pay attention to who you are. You did a good job. You raised your kids. You showed them love. Now let them be. Yeah, it might be hurtful. Why are you making it hurtful? Be proud of, of the job that you did. Be proud of the wonderful parent that you are. Don't find fault with, with their father or their, their mother, your, your ex-spouse. Don't find fault with them. I, I, I see this all the time where... Uh, where, where the child goes to, goes to the parent who was abusive to them and they, and, and, and they love them. So they're supposed to show love. And then they ignore the parent who showed all this love uh, and, and they ignore them. That, that's okay. Stop finding fault with it. Let it go. And if you are one to find fault with your parents, you better let that go. Really let that go. I've known a lot of clients and people that come to me and, and say that their parents did this to them and did that to them. They didn't do any of that. Stop seeing it that way. If someone does something that you feel is wrong, it's probably because they're in a form of suffering. And they're doing the best they can at that moment. So they need your compassion. They don't need you to find fault. A child should never, ever find fault with their parent. I, I, don't, I, I don't care. So you let them go. You, if you think that they are abusive, then you need to get away from them. You need to change. I'm not now. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about people who are really, really abusive. So please understand me. There are people who are abusive, and they need separation from who do abuse children who are very bad. I'm talking about regular situations of parents who disciplined their kids, who did the best that they could for their kids, and then you have kids that come and say that their parents were horrible parents, and and I, I don't I don't hear it. But if your parents provide you with a home, food, uh, uh, clothes, took care of you, made you went, made sure you went to school, made took you to the doctors, and did all these things, and and loved you, then they were good parents. Okay, they did what they split. They didn't abuse you. They didn't be, all right, if you got a spank, if you got punished, then you needed that, okay? But don't go ahead and do that. Please, I'm not talking about parents who are who are addicts, who leave their kids alone, who, who don't take care of them. I'm not talking about them, okay? But even those, those people, you need to let them go. Don't hold on to them. Don't hold grudges to anybody. Again, it's your karma and your law of attraction that you are creating. You've got to just let it go. Let it go. If you have a person that you're dealing with who's, who's supposed to be a drug addict or an addict or abuser in this lifetime, you're not going to change it by being angry at them. They're not going to change. But you can change the way, way you look at them. They are suffering. They are suffering. You show them compassion and you walk away from them. Okay? Don't connect to it. You don't stay connected to that negative energy for the rest of your life. 
because it's going to ruin relationships. It's going to ruin so many things in, in your life. And people are going to disagree with me, and they can, but they're going to stay connected being unhappy, very, very unhappy in their lives. It's not worth it. Okay, so I was shuffling the Romance Angel cards, and it's... <laughs> It's funny what we were just talking about. Hi, Paula. Thank you for, for popping in. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the love, Mary Lou. I'm, I'm glad that you're you're uh, practicing uh, <laughs> what I suggest. Thank you very much. So what I was just saying right now, it's funny I was saying that, and I, I have no, I didn't select the cards. They just came out. But the first card with the Romance Angels talked about, Healing family issues. So there's some of you out there that are dealing with family issues here. And it says your love life will benefit as you forgive your parents. This, this isn't just so much forgiving your parents. This is also your children, uh, your brothers, your sisters, anybody. You have to do this. Your whole life will benefit. If you just forgive them and let them go and show them compassion I, I don't care how horrible they were they need compassion because they are suffering they don't need more negative energies in their life they don't need that coming from anybody you don't even have to say anything you don't even have to see them you just when you think about them you send them compassion you just have to do that Absolutely, Dottie. Very good. Very, very wise. <laughs> I says, uh, true thing, I always said that if you don't like something in your childhood, change that in the ways you raise your own kids. Mm -hmm. Because of these healing your family issues, and, and it's not only with your parents, it could be your children, whoever, you have to heal that. It's very strong in this. And the angels with of course, told me earlier to mention that, and they're confirming. Uh, you have to do that because if you don't, there's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. Then we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. What you believe in how you deal with family issues or any of those issues how you oh, your spiritual belief you need to connect to that whether religious or spiritual whatever you need to do because there's not enough love in your life or in relationships and these are the people who have issues with family members either with parents or with their children or with siblings you have when, when you have these issues there's not enough love in your life there's not enough chemistry and love. There's not enough magnetism that's bringing these wonderful things. And, and so the angels are telling you, you need to connect to the spiritual power, the power of love, the power of unconditional love, loving unconditionally with no conditions, not finding fault with people. Okay. This is really, really powerful message. All through the cards are just saying this. Stop finding fault with people. Move on in your love because there's not enough love in your life when you do this. Forgive your parents. Forgive your children. Let them be. They don't need more negative energies every time you think of them, giving them uh, negative energies of saying how much they hurt you or how much you hate them. Or That's crazy. You don't want to connect to that. Okay, you want to make sure that you send them love, show them compassion, because they are definitely suffering. Until he's fixing the fire there. So we're going to see our, we're going to see what the uh, messages that the angels have for us, um, an overall message that they have for us. Okay, so I'm shuffling the angel message card. Angels, what else do you have to say for us here? The messages, final message that you have for this reading. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. 
So, so the, the angels say cleanse and detoxify, especially under this full moon. And it says, uh, with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow or shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beauty, <clears throat> grace of your newly purified body. <clears throat> um, this is the same with the, the nine of errors that we have expecting the worst. It's time to cleanse. It's time to come forward. It's time to let things go. Call on your angels. Let things go. Send love. Uh, you know, if, if there's someone, someone in your life uh, that, that you're dealing with, that you, again, that, you're, that they hurt you, or they find fault, fault with you, or you, you feel like you hate them because of what they have done, it's time to sit quietly. And if you have a picture of them, hold a picture of them, or uh, in your mind, sit quietly, call on Archangel Raphael, I was called Michael, and, and call on them and, and send them love. Let's put the white light over them, or the green light of Archangel Raphael over them and over you, and bring peace. Even if they don't want peace with you, that's okay. You, it's up what you bring peace to them. Now, I want you to remember this. What, whatever, whatever negative energies or anything that you're still attached to in this lifetime, when it's time for you to cross over, and when it's time for you to reincarnate in the next lifetime, you're going to have the same situation again to deal with. You're not going to be wiser or smarter or anything like that. In this lifetime, you don't know when it's your time to go. It's time under this full moon tonight to sit there and make peace with your past, with a person, with a situation. You give love and shed love to it and just let it go. You do not want to take that situation and meet up with that person again in your next lifetime and go through it because you're going to take it with you. It's your karma. It's your law of attraction. If you stay attached, whatever you stay attached with at the time of your passing, you're going to bring it into your next lifetime. So you really need to detach from anything that's negative in your life, any negative feeling, any hurt, any wrongdoing, Forgive yourself. If you did something wrong, you got to let it go. you got to forgive yourself. Even if you did something wrong, don't, don't attach yourself and feel guilty about it forever because you're going to take whatever you're attached to, you're going to bring it back into your next lifetime, and you don't want to do that. You want to grow. You want to let this grow. And so when you do uh, reincarnate your next lifetime, you're stronger, you're powerful, you're more wiser. You know, you're not, This isn't going to happen. So you're going to detach from that. Uh, and make sure at your next lifetime, it's a clean slate. <laughs> okay. So, you, you know, I like that Lord Ganeshka cards to see what message he has for us. So, let's go ahead and shuffle Lord Ganeshka. Lord Ganeshka is a wonderful, loving. Hello, Jamie. Thank you for popping in. You know, he removes obstacles. You can call on him to remove obstacles if you're having. Okay, this one came out. Oh, yes. <laughs> It's inner knowing. We all have this wisdom. We all have this because it's it's God inside of us. So this inner knowing card here. So let me go ahead and open the book here and see what it says. It's number 17. Okay. You have a place inside you that holds your most significant answers. And it says, within each of us lies our intuitive knowing. Motivation and ideas are present, yet untapped in this space within us. The spark of the divine waits patiently for us to tune in and to revive our guidance, uh, retrieve our guidance. This is a time of soul searching. You are in a phase of introspection where you are drawing your attention and focus inward and looking for guidance within. You have a strong need to understand, not just at the surface level, but also to really know why things are unfolding in the manner that they are. You now have access to the inner knowing that the truth 
and the acceptance you seek is within you. This is a perfect time to take step back from your day-to-day -day life and deeply contemplate your motivations, personal principles, and values. Seek the truth. Work with Ganeshka and see that through meditation, consideration, and self-assessment, the opportunity to evaluate your direction and personal goals await you. Your priorities may shift as you develop a deeper perspective. Take this opportunity for some much needed alone time. As this is perfect, pretty much sums up <laughs> uh, everything that was said tonight. Uh, and of course, with the healing, even with the, um, the twin flame soulmate reading that I did earlier, you know, it talked about healing as needs to happen. It really needs to happen. Okay, one last so I, uh, group of cards is the um, Law of Attraction cards. So if you have a question or something you've been contemplating, uh, go ahead and tell God in the universe as I shuffle these. And we'll see what, what they have to say. Angels, what is the Law of Attraction card you wish to share with us tonight? Attraction card you wish to share. Let's come forward. Okay, so two cards came out here. First one says, my life is supposed to be fun. <laughs> my life is, mine is fun. It's silly, it's lots of fun. <laughs> and says, uh, be easy about all of this. Life is supposed to be fun, you know. It is Abraham's powerful desire that you return to your state of self-appreciation. We want you to feel love for your life, for the people of, of your world, and most of all, for yourself. There is great love here for you. So yes, it's, it's telling you to feel the love for your life and for the people that are in your life. Feel the love for them. Send them love and connect to this. Your life is supposed to be fun. And it's not fun if you're miserable, complaining, or feeling bad. <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun. And the other card says, my desires and beliefs are only thoughts. And the card says, your desires and beliefs are just thoughts. Ask and it is given. You ask through your intention, through your wanting, through your desire. That is the asking. Whether you desire it to happen or you desire it not to happen, you are asking. Don't, don't never put out... <laughs> what you don't want. You're sending energies to what you don't want. You know, I talk about that all the time. Focus on what you do want, not what you don't want. Don't send any energies to what you don't want because you're going to bring them to you. Okay? Your desires and beliefs are only thoughts that are bringing things in. If you're thinking about what you don't want, stop thinking about that. Surrender it. Tell it have your angels give you warning signs. Write notes for yourself. You know, again, uh, you know what what are you practicing what you what you practice you become so start practicing giving up negative thoughts or negative what things you don't want and what you do want you can only do this for yourself you can't do this for somebody else you can't say well I hope so-and-so comes back into my life you have no power over them <laughs> you only have power for what happens in your life not the control of what somebody else does. So, you know, if you're looking for somebody to come back into your life and they don't want to come back into your life, then, then you're, you're creating misery, okay? So, so what you want, you only want loving people in your life. You want the people who are supposed to be in your life who come with love and blessing. So thank you, God, for sending me loving people. Like I said earlier, my intentions that I say every day, Okay. I don't say keep the negative people out. I don't say that. I don't focus on negative people. I talk only on what I want. Only loving people with good intentions come into my life. That's what I say. Okay. I am loving. I am kind. I send those energies out. You know, I am forgiving. I am joyful. I am peaceful. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am prosperous. I am a money magnet. Okay. Joy and love comes to me. Don't talk about what I want to stay away from me. I only focus on 
what I want. Okay, and this is how you create this. This is what happens. I want peace. So if you say, I, I want peace in my life, if, if someone starts an argument with you and you get an argument with you, you're not creating peace in your life. So if someone starts an argument, you don't get into the argument. You send them love. You know, you say, don't you be mad at me. I want to talk to you. You don't want to talk to me? That's fine. I'm going to leave because I want peace in my life. Now, I'm not going to connect to this negative thoughts. This is who you are, and that's where I'm going to leave you to be where you are. But if you want to talk to me, yeah, I love you, and I want to talk to you about this. This is how I feel about it, okay? And if they're not ready to talk, then give them time. But don't connect into that. Again, you only have control of what happens in your life. You have no control of what happens in somebody else's life. So if you want someone to come back into your life, then the may... Ask angels, how do you do that? And how you do that is show love. If someone is meant to be in your life, a true soulmate, a true uh, uh, twin flame, they'll be there. They're not going away. So if someone goes away and you say, well, he's, he or she's my soulmate. She's my twin flame. He's my twin flame. I, I don't understand what, why this is going. No, they're not. They're not. Because if they were they'd still be in your life. They wouldn't walk away. They'd stay there and, and take care and, and be with you regardless. Okay? They, they would not do that. So that's the first thing. We really have to come to understanding that. Okay? And if you chase after someone and get them to come back and they're not supposed to be in your life, you're going to go through this over again. Just let it go. Let it be. Let them go. Let them be. If they're meant to be in your life, they're going to come back. Sometimes uh, they might get straight away. There's no way is a separation of a true soulmate and twin flame. There's no separation of that when we're talking in, in a romantic sense. Okay? There's no separation. Nothing can separate you. Okay? So be aware of that. If they're gone, they're gone. Don't hold on to them. Because if you hold on to someone who's not supposed to be in your life, your twin flame and soul, or soulmate is not going to find you because you're attached to something. They're looking for someone who's not attached. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't want to go there. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with me on this full moon, full Virgo moon evening. Uh, and thank you for your angels and your energies. And, of course, most of all, thank you for your love. And know that you are powerful when you're in a knowing. When you've got the ascendant masters, the angels and archangels behind you, you're powerful. There's no stopping you. Let your love and peace down upon the earth. You have to be in that place of love and peace in order to give it, okay? And know that God blesses and loves you. And so do I. <laughs> I absolutely do. So lots of love hugs, kisses, loves from me to you. And of course, I wish every single one of you namaste. The light and love in me recognizes the light and love in you. Have a great uh, full moon night. I hope you get a chance. To, I hope it's a clear night. You can go out and see it. Um, but enjoy. If you are in for nasty weather tomorrow, stay warm and safe. Okay? So I'll talk to you all later. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye.